Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In both of the spans, there are no loads. Span AB is 4 meter long. Span BC is also 4 meter long. In the point A, we have a fixed support. In the points B and C, there are hinged supports. The support A settles by 0.8 cm. When we convert that into meter, we are getting 0.008 meter. Also, in the support A, there is rotation 0.001 radian. The rotation occurs in the clockwise direction. The support B settles by 1.2 cm. When we convert that into meter, we are getting 0.012 meter. The support C settles by 0.9 cm. When we convert that into meter, we are getting 0.009 meter. The flexural rigidity EI is given as 8000 kN meter square. Now let us find the fixed end moments. First, let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB, there is no load. So, there is no fixed end moments due to the loads. The support A sinks by 0.008 meter. The support B sinks by 0.012 meter. The settlement in the support B is more than the settlement in the support A. So, the net settlement occurs in the support B. 0.012 minus 0.008. We will get the net settlement 0.004 meter. The formula to find the fixed end moment due to the settlement is 6 Ea delta upon L square. Since the net settlement occurs on the right side, the fixed end moments due to settlement will be negative. They are negative because they will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction. In the formula, let us apply the values. L is 4, Ea is 8000, delta is 0.004. After the calculation, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now, let us find the fixed end moments in the span BC. The support B sinks by 0.012 meter. The support C sinks by 0.009 meter. The settlement in the support B is more than the settlement in the support C. So, the net settlement occurs in the support B. The net settlement is equal to 0.012 minus 0.009. We will get 0.003 meter. Since the net settlement occurs on the left side, the fixed end moments due to settlement will be positive because they will be acting in the clockwise direction. In the formula, let us apply the values. Ei is 8000, L is 4, delta is 0 0.003. After the calculation, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the span AB. In the span AB, first let us make for MAB. In the equation, let us apply the fixed end moment M of AB. 
length of AB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. The value of theta A is given in the question 0.001 radian. For theta A, we can apply that. Since the rotation is in the clockwise direction, we have to apply this value as positive. 2 upon 4 is 0 0.5. 2 into 0 0.001, we will get 0 0.002. Let us multiply 0 0.5 EA with 0 0.002 plus theta B. When we do that, we will get this. We know the value of EI, 8000. When we multiply these two values, we will get 8. Minus 12 plus 8, we will get minus 4. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Now, let us make the slope deflection equation for MBA. In the equation, first let us apply the fixed end moment. Length of AB is 4. Let us apply that. For theta A, we can apply 0 0.001. We can multiply these two terms. When we do that, we will get this. For EA, we can apply 8000. When we multiply these two values, we will get 4. Minus 12 plus 4, we will get minus 8. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. In the equations, first let us apply the fixed end moments. In the point C, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So, MCB will be equal to 0. Let us take 9 on the left side. So, it will come as negative. This is our first equilibrium equation. Let us keep this equation as number 3 and this equation as number 4. Now, let us make the joint equilibrium equation. In the joint B, MBA plus MBC will be 0. From the slope deflection equations, let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC. Let us add the values. After adding, we are getting these. We have to always keep the numerical on the right side. Now, using the calculator, we can solve the fourth and fifth equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and solved these two equations and got the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 2, we are getting Mba. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting Mbc. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. Now, let us find the vertical reactions. First, let us find them in the span AB. When we take moment about B, we are getting RA. When we apply this rule, we are getting RB1. Now, let us find the reactions in the span BC. When we take moment about C, we will get RB2. By applying this rule, we will get RC. By adding RB1 and RB2, we will get RB. Here, I have drawn the shear force diagram. Using the direction of the end movements, we can draw the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.